This intro video wasn't created using any heavy or expensive editing software. I have created this intro video using 100% free editing software. Yes, completely free, with no watermark, even you don't have to pay anything to access its advanced features. Let me introduce Video Blog Vlogger, a free video editing software for everyone, as well as the sponsors of this video. In this video, we'll learn how to make an intro video using Video Blog Vlogger. First, open the software after downloading and installing it. You'll find the download link in the description of this video. Every time when you open it, a pop-up window for projects will appear, allowing you to access previous projects or create a new one. To open a recent project, simply double-click on it. If you want to create a new project, start by typing the name of your project. Specify the location where you want to save your project file on your PC. You can choose a resolution from this drop-down menu, such as 1080d, 4K, or vertical resolution for Instagram and TikTok. In my case for the intro video, I choose 1080d. Next, choose the FPS frames per second. Typically, we select 30 FPS for YouTube videos and higher FPS for slow motion videos. You also have the options to customize your video resolution if needed. Finally, click on new project. So here is another pop-up window where you can enter your mail ID register with video proc and the license code. If you don't have a license code, you can easily get it for free by clicking this link. So this is the main look or layout of this video editing software. On the top left, you can see the media library for inputting videos, audio and other files. Next to the media library, we have transitions, titles and effects. I'll try to cover most of the key features of video blog vlogger while creating this intro video. In the media library tab, click on this plus icon or hit the ctrl plus i key to input the media files. Then navigate to the folder from where you wanna import your media. Select the footage and audio, then click on open to import them. Under video, we have all our video clips and under music, we have all our audio files. Now let's dive into the editing part of this tutorial. Starting with audio, first drag the audio onto the audio track on the timeline. After that, for this 30 or 40 seconds intro, I'll select base part of the audio. To do this, I'm gonna split at the time indicator position. Click on split at the toolbar to make the cut. Then delete this portion of the audio by selecting it and hitting the delete key. Next, drag this audio to the left at the beginning. There is a slider for us to make zoom in and out of the timeline. Click on fit size to fit the timeline. Next, we need to set markers on the audio with music beats. This will help us organize our footage according to the music beats, giving our intro video an eye-catching rhythm. First, ensure that the audio is selected, then listen to the music and add markers by pressing the M key on the keyboard. We set a marker here because it's a transition area. At this point, I heard a beat. Continue this process and enable the rest of the music. In these steps, we learn how to organize footage on the timeline. Double click on the footage to preview it in the preview or program monitor. One feature I noticed missing is the ability to create in points and out points in the monitor. I hope this feature will be added in future updates. Now drag the video onto the timeline. For this area, we're gonna select a specific portion from this video. Drag the time indicator where you wanna make a cut. Then click on split. Next, delete the part you don't wanna use. Another trimming option is to drag the beginning or ending as of the footage. This way we can trim our footage on the timeline. Now let's play the video once. Okay, let me quickly place the next two footage on the timeline. The previous footage is zooming in, but this drone footage is zooming out. I would like to maintain consistency. So let's zoom in on this footage. Select the footage first, then go to the tab at the top right next to the preview monitor. The effect control tab offers features like opacity, color, transform and volume to do various things such as applying transitions and effects. Now expand the reverse play and choose this box to enable reverse play, resulting in zoom in on the video. That is exactly what I want to achieve. Next, let's play the fourth video. If I play the video, you'll notice it's in a slow motion. Give it a cinematic effect, but it's steady without much movement. Let's enhance it slightly. First, select the video, then click on motion. There are some presets to apply to your video. Let's choose this one and play back the video by hitting the space bar. It looks cool. 
if you wanna remove the preset from your video, there is a reset options available. Now you see our time indicator is at the beginning frame. Let's add a keyframe by clicking on this keyframe icon. After that, scale the video by dragging these points of the rectangle or marks. Move the time indicator to the right. Here are the left and right arrow icons. Click on the right arrow icons to go to the last frame of the video and set another keyframe on the video. Now we need to make some changes to this keyframe. Grab this marks and move it to the right. This way we can create a simple animation using the keyframes. There is a list of adjustments for keyframes like smoothing the animation and other options. When you are satisfied with everything, simply confirm the settings by clicking the app play button. Now let's play the video to see the changes. In these steps, we cover the transitions, detaching audio and adjusting playback speed. Now you can see all the footage on the timeline is nicely organized, following the music rhythm and flow of the video. When you play the video, you might feel something is missing at the starting part. So let's apply a fade in transition. Go to the transition tab where you find the fade in transition at the beginning. Double click on it to preview the transition. To apply the transition, simply drag it over to the timeline and place it at the beginning of the video. Let's apply another transition bit on these videos. I'll choose the fade to white transitions to give it an aesthetic look. Double click on it to preview the transition. If you would like, just place it between the two videos. We can also adjust the duration of the transitions by dragging it as is. Next, it's a good idea to play the video after making these changes to see if it looks good or if you need to make any adjustments. Let's apply the same transition here, let's do it. Maybe you have noticed there is audio linked with the video, but I don't want this audio on the timeline, so we need to detach this audio from the video. Right click on the video, then select detach audio. After that you see the audio is separated from the video. Now select the audio and hit the delete key on the keyboard to remove the audio. Next let's move to the last video. I want to change the speed of this video to create a slow motion effect. First, select the video, then go to the top and click to collapse or expand it. Just below, you can find play speed. It has options to change the speed of the video. Another way is to go to the time stretch on the toolbar. Click here to enable time stretch, then grab the edge of the video and stretch it to the right or left to increase or decrease the speed. We typically do this to create a slow motion video or sometimes for hyperlapse video. Once it's done, just go back to the repeal edit. Let's move on the next step of this tutorial, which is about applying and customize effects. Go to the effects tab, then double click on any of the effects to preview it. If you want this effects on the timeline, you need to drag it over to the timeline and place it exactly where you wanna apply it. Now you can play the effects. it looks good and if you want to use it as a transition you can do it that as well adjust its duration between two video clips see it's really amazing right now you know titles are also important for any video there are a few ways you can apply titles or text to your videos you can click here to add text or go to the titles tab there are a few premium titles for you you can check them out one by one to find the best tone for your videos Let's apply this title, just drag it onto the timeline. Make necessary adjustments like duration and placement following the video where you wanna show it. Now make sure the title is selected then go to the basic correction tab which allows you to make some adjustments. If you wanna do advanced settings just click on edit text. Here we have a new window. The first thing we do is change the text and type something that suits your video. Then we have the options to change the font from this drop down menu. I choose this font because it has a traveling feel. You can stylize your font by changing the color, making it flat or gradient. On the left side, pre-made font styles are also available for you. You can choose any of them. You can also adjust the font size, rotation and other elements like you would in professional video editing software. In the animation section, you'll find a variety of animation presets. Just double click on the animations and select the base tone. Finally, hit the apply to confirm all the settings and play the video.
In these steps, we'll focus on sound effects. Sound design can significantly enhance any video. However, mastering it requires patience and practice. Let's attempt sound design by applying the sound effects in the video transition area. If we scroll down, you can find a hood sound effects that can be used for a flashy transition. Let's drag the sound onto the timeline. But first, we need to add another audio track. To do this, select the audio track, then click on plus icon to add a new audio track. Now place the hood sound effects on the new audio track following the transition. Let's play it once. If it needs adjustments, you can easily make them. In the audio editor, you find a lot of options to customize the audio. Let's set fade in and fade out. On the left side, you find the volume sliders to adjust the volume level of both channels. There is also an equalizer to enhance the audio. The audio effects section contains variety of effects like echo, gain and reverb. It's challenging to cover everything in just a video, but don't worry, all the basic and advanced level tutorials are available on the Video Proc official YouTube channel. Color correction and color grading are the final parts of video editing. Now let's discuss how professional this free editing software is for color grading. Let's start by selecting this footage. You can then click on color or go to the color and filter tab. Some basic options are available here. For advanced settings, click on color and filter editor and you get a new window. On the left side, you find a lot of color filters. Let's select one of them for the landscape. We can switch to others to find the best fit. If you don't want to use any filter, just click on none. We can also add LARS by clicking on this icon. LARS are color grading preset that give you footage an instantly cinematic or other desired look. Temperature and tin are used for adjusting the white balance in any footage. This icon is used to reset the settings, which is really important for color correction. Then we have a contrast slider to adjust the contrast of the video. Saturation is for increasing or decreasing color. Highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks are all important features used for color correction. At the bottom of the video proc vlogger, you find the HSL, which is one of the best options for color manipulation. This slider is used to add a dark or white shadow around the video. All of these advanced features are sufficient to make your video eye-catching. In the final step of this video, we are gonna learn how to export a video. To do this, you can go to the video proc and select export. Another option is to click on export. Now you need to adjust the settings for exporting the video. Start by entering the file name, in my case I'm gonna call it intro video. Then choose a location for saving your video. For the format, select the format you want, either mp4 or mkv. Most of the time we select mp4 for social media videos. Here it shows the output details of the video. Let's choose a video quality from low, medium or high. I prefer to choose the high quality engine for the best output. Next for video codec, H.264 is selected by default and we can keep it that way. For APS, we usually choose 30 APS for regular videos. If you don't wanna export your audio with the video, you can enable it. But in most cases, we export audio with the video. The reset options can be used when you wanna return to the default settings. When you are satisfied with all the settings for exporting your video, just click start to begin the export process. Video Plug Vlogger is a very fast software even if you are using an old laptop or PC. That's all for today's video proc tutorial. I highly recommend trying out this amazing 100% free software. It offers almost all the important features you'd find in expensive professional software. Simply download the software from the link provided in the description and enjoy using it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you in the next video.